but first of all let's see um, the sound settings because last time it was hard to hear me because of the sound so this entire deck comes from the first two missions in Scourge of Lordaeron where Arthas fought some orcs and also from the that one mission in Path of the Damned where when again Arthas but undead fought some orcs and I've stretched like those two missions into an entire deck so the round begins this deck is more of a late game one and he's, he, it's got like two things that synergize first of all are the slaves so these dudes are very squishy <clears throat> they do nothing but when a hero enters the battlefield these dudes die and buff that hero it seems unicornicorn got my back here and the heroes get like uh, four four points for each stat from each slave like four points to intelligence four points to strength and four points to agility yeah these dudes played exactly the card which counters our card that is unpleasant to see For the early game this deck has got um, things which, with pillage, so basically what pillage does is if the unit with pillage kills another unit, the owner of that unit gets one gold. Or if that unit simply attacks a building, uh, it also he also gets one gold. And this can occur only once, like only once per unit. and more things with pillage this deck doesn't have that many units which are specific anti-air so I send this card so if these dudes get in the middle of the map like after the middle of the map they'll get plus 50% HP and as you've seen those guy got sacrificed and this blade master got bonus stats And yep, he, he's got bonus HP, this dude's got bonus HP. And another thing to mention, from this deck on, some other decks have uh, production buildings. Which every two turns send one card based on the structure. Like this card sends every two turns a demon card. The dragon rose sends dragons every two turns. Like cards with dragons, not just dragons. Oh, and also there is uh, this thing with uh, unholy spellcasters and demons. Some cards like this one empower warlocks and demons at the same time. So what this does, it gives all warlocks, necromancers, necromancers whatever is uh, an unholy spellcaster um, bonus 2 damage, bonus 50 range, bonus 1 mana regen and uh, unholy frenzy. Which is pretty strong. What's in this guy? And demons also get 1 life regeneration and 1 armor. So the optimal playstyle is it's to spam demons and warlocks. This blade master summons some slaves and cannot sacrifice them. It's his special ability, the only hero that cannot sacrifice them.
I'll send this thing which will also buff Tia's warlock and this thing which will buff his warlock and my warlocks over here. And hopefully they'll live long enough to to make up for the gold I've paid for those cards. Uh, I don't know what to send. I send these guys. And this dude got buffed. But sadly he's defensive so we won't get too much out of him. More pillagers. I'll make a dragon roost too. This might have not been the best moment for it. And there is also this card which gets uh, all the units from it get 200 bonus maximum life per production structure. And if I've got all four then it sends these units, besides these units, all these units but defensive. It sends some drakes. Yep, I've lost all my structures. This might be a loss. This might be the perfect moment to convince Steel to change his strategy to mine so you can see more of the Black Rock Orcs. Round 2 begins, hopefully I've managed to convince Steel to go for the Black Rock cards. So this is Jubatos. Um, if he sacrifices the slaves he gets double the bonus from them. So the idea would be to uh, spam lots and lots of slaves and then put the Jubatos to consume all those slaves and get uh, way better buff than other heroes would. I haven't got any things to send early. This guy isn't much of a problem. So for now I'll just wait. Now that is a problem. So I'll send this card, which will also empower Keltuzar because he's an unholy spellcaster. That is such a misuse of Keltuzar. It seems we might have gotten them, gotten them with all these warlock buffs. Let's hope we don't destroy the entire base because that would be very unfun. That might just be the case.
Yep, and that made him quit. That was it, people.